You know, I want to share a story that was sent to me via the email. When somebody sends me something or somebody tells me something that's a first responder or a vet, immediately I believe them. Their credibility just goes through the roof. Um, for the sake of his privacy, I'm going to keep uh, his name and whatnot, his, his, uh, his state of where he worked, anonymous. I could tell you this. He had a long career in the police force and served as a captain. He then retired, came to work for the company I worked for, and uh, decided it wasn't for him. He left the company uh, with intentions of just moving in someplace quiet and just settling down. So here's his email. Little Berkey water here. Howdy. Hope all is well with you. My wife and I have been enjoying your videos. We are still local. The home sale is going a little slow due to the time of the year. I just wanted to share a story about my dad and COVID. My dad was admitted into the hospital last Thursday here in Tucson for Parkinson's related issues. It causes weakness and he fell. The hospital gave him a COVID test and it came back positive. I get the call from the nurse the next day and asked her to have the doctor call us. The doctor called us and we asked, what treatment is my dad getting for the virus? And he said, no treatment at all. The doctor went on to say that my dad was asymptomatic and, not, and is not sick at all. We told the doctor that my dad is 80. He has Parkinson's, a pacemaker, a pacemaker, and can barely walk and talk. And he is on numerous meds. According to the media, the virus is a death sentence to him, he said to the doctor. Does not, the doctor said he sees 80 plus year olds all day long with COVID on a daily basis. He went on to say that just about all of them are asymptomatic like my dad. These people never knew they had the virus and they don't know it unless they get the test. The doctor said the other old people had minor symptoms and were fine. He said no one in the hospital dies from the virus due to good therapeutics. He actually called the COVID a scam demic. I'm sorry. The doctor actually called the COVID a scam demic. I can't read. And assured us that the masks do not work. We asked about the flu season and, he see, and if he sees patients uh, with, with the regular flu. The doctor said there is no flu, only COVID patients as he left. Anyway, just sharing you this story, blah, blah, blah. And he goes on to ask me not to share any personal information. So the doctor, in a sarcastic way, says, you know, we don't, there are no flus. Knowing very well. You know, he was basically telling um, uh, the patient, basically, that, um, you know, everybody's claiming the flu is now COVID. So w what's convenient about this is, um, and I've been saying this since January. You go back and look at some of my older videos from the beginning of this year. As soon as I heard... COVID for the first time, or the sun disease for the first time, or the China virus. I knew in my mind this is just a ploy to hurt Trump and nothing more. Um, in the very beginning, if you recall, we were gauging this disease by deaths. No longer is that the case. And normally, the news media outlets will jump onto the most dramatic stories that they can find to put scare into you. But they can no longer use deaths now to put scare into you. Why don't they talk about deaths anymore and only talk about cases? Deaths are on the decline. Cases can be anything. If, even, even if you don't have it and it's suspected, that's a case. Almost like a, a criminal case. You can be investigating somebody regardless of whether they're innocent or guilty. It's a case. 
The same thing with the COVID. Everything is a case now, and this doctor flat out said that majority of the people that come into his hospital with COVID are asymptomatic. In fact, symptoms so mild, they don't even know they have it. In this case, they just ran a COVID test uh, just out of precaution. He went in for something else, Parkinson's related uh, uh, issues. My wife just had a surgery as well. And out of precaution, they took a COVID test. It came back negative. Um, but the point of the story is that they're trying to beef up the numbers to instill fear in you. They're going to beef up these numbers as much as possible. And that way, if they can overinflate the numbers, the higher they can get the numbers, the farther it can fall. What do I mean by that? Because when Biden and Harris get into office, there's going to be this miraculous cure. Look at the numbers. They just went from all the way up here. I mean, I can't even reach my arm that high. And they just fell all the way down. Oh, my God. We got Jesus Christ in the office. He just cured a disease, cured a virus. And Trump, we told you Trump was a fraud. We told you. That's how it's, they're attempting to do it. They're also attempting to delay the, uh, the vaccine. Even Dr. Fauci wants the Americans to delay the vaccine, although the UK is already testing, has uh, completed testing and is now uh, given the vaccine to people. He says, well, they didn't look at the data long enough. And I think we need to pro prolong this. Uh, we need to delay it uh, until we look at the data. Uh, really what Fauci wants to do is delay it until, again, Biden gets into office, give him uh, something to cure the virus with. So anyway, um, never said it was fake, but I definitely think it's way, way overflated, inflated. Um, I think COVID-19 is nothing more than a different strand of flu. Uh, perhaps it, it might have um, a little, uh, you know, a little bit more uh, symptoms in the flu, you know, a little bit more harsher symptoms. But other than that, I think it's nothing but a, a different type of flu. Uh, the symptoms mimic, uh, obviously, Google symptoms of the flu and s symptoms of COVID. And you can see they're virtually one in the same. Anyway, got to run. Take care of yourselves.